Hi everybody, it's Kyle. Um, I just was wanted to share a quick video with you. Actually, this is a, a three-part video. This is part one of a three-part video called EELS, and I'll explain what that means to you. But the idea came from uh, a buddy of mine who I had a conversation with, and he was complaining about not having enough time to do all the things he wanted to do. And he said to me, you never really seem to complain. What? You must have more time than the rest of us, or what's going on? And I know you don't have more time, but how do you manage it in a way that... Uh, that allows you to get everything you want to have get done done. And so I said, well, I have a little bit of a process I use. And so he asked me to explain it to him, and that's what he asked me to share with you. He thought it was a pretty interesting process. So um, the process is, I call it E-E-L-S. And the first two E's we'll cover in this video, the L in the next video, and the S in the third video. He told me my videos were too long. So the first two E's are uh, eliminate entertainment. Now, I know that sounds kind of harsh, and a lot of people don't like that idea. But let me explain to you what I mean. Um, uh, we spend so much time in our lives trying to entertain ourselves, whether it's TV or radio or, you know, go to the movies or whatever it is we're trying to do. We find so much time to entertain ourselves, and so much of our time is spent entertaining ourselves without even really realizing it. Um, and, and let me tell you what I did. I decided for one year, a few years back, for an entire year, that I was just going to eliminate entertainment because I thought I'm spending too much time trying to find the right... TV show, or, um, you know, I'm listening to music all the time when I can be doing more productive things. And so what I did basically, and I'll challenge you to do this, is to create a list of those things uh, that may fall under the, uh, under the uh, category of entertainment. Uh, one of the, the couple of things that I did were, first of all, TV. Uh, I noticed that I have a 20-minute drive to work, 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back. That was 40 minutes of entertainment where I was listening to radio shows or sports talk or whatever the heck I was listening to. Um, as well as, you know, going to play basketball, doing all these different things in my life that were just basically nothing more than just to entertain myself. And so I decided that uh, a few years back, like I said, this was going to be the year of no entertainment. And so as I made this list of things, I realized how many different ways I entertained myself. And entertainment to me was anything just to, to remove my mind from what was going on. It was just kind of wasted time for me. And so what I found out as I made that list is that I had so much more time than I thought I did once I removed it. I'd sit down to watch TV and I'd say, wait, wait a minute, TV, uh, that's entertainment. So I'm going to go find one of my sons to draw with or, you know, go dance in my little girl's room with her or whatever it was. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to create that list and kind of create a, an if-then situation. And it was if I find myself being entertained by this, then I'm going to do this. Now the interesting thing was, I found out that they had uh, books on CDs, and you can download books now. And for 20 minutes to work and 20 minutes back, I must have read 50 books that year. Uh, pretty interesting. And all these different books taught me all these different things, everything from how to win friends and influence people to... Uh, men are from Mars, women, is, women are from Venus. So many different things that really did entertain me. But ultimately, I felt better about the learning I was doing and uh, the ability I had to, to apply those things. So what I was doing was basically looking for the, the ways to find the most productive things I could so that I just quit being entertained so much. Now, the other thing that you'll find is instead of entertainment, you have to find something to replace that time. And the pretty interesting thing for me was that I found... I spent so much more time with my kids and my wife and friends. And I would go out in the front yard and I would read a book while I watched my kids play. Whatever it was that replaced the entertainment was always more productive for me. I felt better about it. And what ended up happening is I, is I better developed my relationship with my wife and with my kids and with other people because I wasn't so interested in being entertained. As a matter of fact, I was trying to find things to replace my entertainment. So that's the... E, -E, the first two E's, E, -E of E, E, L, S. Eliminate entertainment. I challenge you to do that. And what you'll find is that you have so much more time to do things that it's just shocking to you. So that's the first part of this video. I'm going to come back here in a little bit and cover the next L, which is a part of my system. So come back and meet with me in just a few more seconds. Uh, I think you'll like what you have to hear. Thanks a lot.